This problem says let P represent a true statement, let Q represent a false statement, and let R represent a false statement. Find the truth value of each of these statements. Okay, first of all, they're telling me that P is going to be true, so I'm actually going to write that down. P is equivalent to a true statement. Q is equivalent to a false statement. And R is equivalent to a false statement. So I'm getting that information from above here. And I guess I should also say before we go any further, uh, you're going to need to know some of your truth tables in order to solve this. And in particular, if you'll just remind yourself, uh, this has a negation in it, so you'll need to know the truth table for negation. Um, any statement just changes to its opposite truth value. It has an AND in it, so you'll need to know this truth table for AND. And the easy way to remember it is that for the truth value for an AND, there's only one case in which it's true. It's only true if both are true. If P and Q are both true, the statement, compound statement with AND is true. Otherwise, it's false. So you'll need those two results to solve this problem. Now that you've got it, you can see that if I actually, and there are different ways of doing this, but I actually uh, insert the truth value in place of the letter. So instead of not R, I'll say not false. If you have another way that's correct and you like it that way, that's fine to stick with it, but this is the way I like to do it. And then for P, I'll actually put in the truth value true and not, and again Q is false, so I've actually inserted the truth value in there. And then you start simplifying it. Not false is true. That's what your negation truth table tells you. And also not false is true over here as well. Oops. is true. And just keep keep simplifying one step at a time. So this statement is equivalent to, well now I need to work inside of these parentheses and I have true and true. Well remember um, we just looked at that truth table for and and a truth table for and tells us that the statement and statement is true only if they're both true. Well here both of them are true, so you end up with true. Now there's actually a third implication that I didn't mention, but I need to come back to it. Uh, I'm third statement, and that's the implication. The truth table for implication, I didn't mention earlier, but I certainly need to. That's the if-then statement, the implication. And it's probably the hardest one for people to remember, and at this point all I'm going to say about this is there's only one case in which the implication is false, and that is if the P is true and the Q is false. That's the only time. In other words, T implies F is the only false implication of all the possibilities. So if you can remember that, then you can remember the truth table for the implication. It's only false in this one case. The P is true, Q is false. So going back, if the only time that it's false is if T is true, P is true, and Q is false, that's not one of those cases, so that tells you that this implication is true. And now you've completely simplified it, so the truth value of this original statement, given these three pieces of information, is true. Let's take it one step at a time, take your time, write everything down, learn your truth tables. Now we're going to uh, do a second problem. The second problem is quite a bit more complicated, but the idea is the same. You're going to have an implication. We've already looked at that truth table. You're going to have a negation. We've already looked at that. This time you're going to have an or. I think that's 
probably the only one that we're going to need that we haven't looked at. So we're also going to need the truth table for an OR. And for an OR, the easy way to remember it, there's only one place when you get a false value for an OR, and that's when they're both false. So for an OR, the, the uh, compound statement is only false if they're both false. So now that we've added that one, uh, we should be able to take care of this. The main thing here is to go slow, be careful, and take it one step at a time. We're still working with this same fact that uh, the statement P is true, the statement Q is false, and the statement R is false. So we're still working with that basic information up there. So I'm going to just actually put that in. So I've got the negation of if P is still true, I'll just put in the truth value in place of P, implies the negation of Q, well Q is false, implies Q, which is false, or not P, and P is true. And then you just keep simplifying. So I'm going to work from the inside out. I should work on that one probably next. So I've got the negation of. Now, um, and before I can work on that one, I, I notice also I've got a not false here, so I need to change that to true. So within there, my, I guess my next step would actually be true implies not false is true. Just take it one step at a time. There's no reason to rush your way through it or try to skip steps. So you've got false or not true is false. So you're working your way through and every time you see a not one of the truth values you just change it to its opposite and keep going. So continuing along I'm working from here I've still got the negation out front now I have an implication. True implies true. Remember there was only one case where the implication was false and I'll remind you very quickly the only time the truth uh, value of an implication is false is if the P is true and the Q is false. Well here that's not the case. I don't have true implies false so that must be true. Then I've got my implication now I'm back to an OR. Remember for an OR, the truth values for an OR, it's only false if they're both false. Well, they are both false, so that would be false. Okay, now the negation is still sitting there, but I'm back to an implication again. The implication is true implies false. Well, that just happens to be the only case where an implication is false. True implies false. So that would be false, but there's a negation out front, so now you finally have completely simplified it. Not false is true. And there you go. So the truth value of this statement here, given these three pieces of information is true.